and this letter was an effort to to let everybody know how it, the realities of and what happens as a result of a wrongful conviction, the lies it literally destroys. Bottom line, it's state-assisted revenge, and that's not justice. I think when you try a capital case, it should be on the prosecutor's shoulder to un uncover every stone, rock, that's out there to follow up on leads. I believe my failure in that case was that I didn't follow up, that I should have done more, that I had an obligation to do more. How can you give any credit to a verdict that was obtained when, the, when Mr. Ford was represented by two attorneys who were very good attorneys who had never tried a jury case, much less a, a criminal case, and they're sitting there trying their best to represent a man who's indigent and can't afford counsel. I can't, looking back on it, that in and of itself should have put a you know, signal to, to my dense brain that it was wrong. The government is responsible for patching potholes. And they're not very good at it. Therefore, why should we have any belief that they could design a system that ensure that is fair, impartial, and non-arbitrary? I don't think a human being has, the, we humans have the capacity tinker with the machinery of death, and that's a quotation from Justice Stevens in the dissenting op opinion several years ago. Mm -hmm. And therefore, we should abolish it. I, I understand the reality of the politics around here, and I don't expect the death penalty to be abolished anytime soon in this state. But I think eventually it will be 